ever wonder why more people don't have financial freedom? After coaching thousands of people over this last decade, I found a common mistake that most people make on delaying their path to financial freedom. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and today's video is the most common mistake that most people make on their path to financial freedom. All right, before I give you exactly what that common mistake is and the patterns I've seen over the years for most people and I even experienced it myself, I'm gonna share one mindset shift at the end that can help you change everything on your path to financial freedom if you choose to if you choose to implement this one mindset shift all right let's jump in with the most common mistake or challenge that most people make on their path to financial freedom i know because i've done it for a little bit and then i shifted a lot of things which was great but the most common mistake that they make is when they make more money what they tend to do or what most people tend to do they actually increase their living expenses, right? So for example, you know, most people when they get out of college, they might be working at like a Starbucks or at the school or something like that, making, you know, 10, 12 bucks an hour. They get their degree and they're not, now they're out making 20, $25 an hour. And so what do they do? They go get their own place, right? They go get a, a car or maybe they go and upgrade their car. They go upgrade their wardrobe and so now their expenses go through the roof and they don't have money that they can actually go and do something with it that's gonna allow them to create financial freedom. Most people have heard the terms keeping up with the Joneses and that is so true. So what does actually keeping up with the Joneses mean? It means that people have a belief or this entitlement that they should have the same wealth or success as other people. And so they're going to do what they can to be able to look like they have financial freedom, have wealth, have success, whatever it is that they're trying to duplicate or to model with other people. The problem is they're usually broke. They usually don't have, you know, have it going on like they say they do. In fact, I had a really good buddy of mine who always said this belief shift for me that was huge. He says, most people don't got it going on like they say they do. And as soon as I started coaching and kind of peeling back the curtains in people's lives, I realized that to be absolutely true. Most people, they look good on the outside, but not good be on the inside or not good behind the scenes, right? They put on social media their highlight reel, but they don't do what me and my wife like to do is keep it real also, right? They only show one aspect. We show both aspects. Why we wanna make sure we keep it real so we don't give people a false illusion of something that they can never achieve. Now, don't get me wrong, we have a great life. Are we billionaires? No way. Are we on our path? I don't know. I'm just doing what we're called to do, what God's called me to do, and I'm walking that path. And however long things take or whatever level we get to, we get to. So we're not trying to keep up with the Joneses. I've done that in my life. I suggest you don't because you're gonna delay years of financial freedom if you do that. So why do people raise their expenses? Why do people try to keep up with the Joneses? Real quick, I'm gonna give you three common mistakes or situations why most people do. The first one is fear of missing out. They don't wanna miss out on the experiences or the lifestyle or the luxury of what other people have. They wanna be able to have that too. They think, I'll never get it, so let me get it now. And the problem with that is they think short term and they don't think long term. They don't set goals and targets and have rewards for those goals and targets that allow them to upgrade their life at the appropriate time. I always like to suggest when you want something like a new car, go whatever the monthly payment is, go get a business or a um, or a real estate portfolio, property in their portfolio that will cash flow the amount to cover that expense, right? So the first one, is miss, fear of missing out. Next is social comparison. Most people, they look at their peers or they look on social media and they look at what other people have and what they're doing and the, the newest thing that they bought or the newest trip they went on and they feel like they're under pressure to do the same things as them. So here's something that was really recent in my life. So I have it where we live out in the Boise, uh, Idaho area. Um, we just opened a church, which is awesome. It's called Awaken Boise. And our pastor just bought a brand new house for him and his wife and family. And it's, it's gorgeous. And then we have some other friends 
and that are building their dream home right now. And then we have some other friends that are looking, that just got a new house and another uh, couple of new people who moved up from the San Diego area to help launch the church here. They actually just bought new houses and I'm, and I'm sitting here like, oh, we've been in our house for five years. And even though we built it five years ago and it's brand new, no one else lived in it. I'm like, do we need a new home? And I started getting, seeing everyone do that. And I was like, oh, what if we got a bigger house? And I'm like, Oh, well, for me, I had to stop and I realized that it was the social comparison of other people and what I believe God called them to do. And I prayed on it and look, God hasn't told me to go look for a new house or go build a new house. God told me, you're good where you are. And so we're not moving, we're not thinking about it, we're not coming under the peer pressure because it's easy to go get a bigger loan and a monthly payment, have a bigger house and say, hey, look at us. But why would we do that? We're in such a great position. So I don't wanna have that social comparison. So that's number two. And number three is status and self-esteem. We all wanna have this status, right? We're told that if we have a big house or the certain neighborhood you live in or the cars that you have or the trips you go on or the free time that you have is actually a status that we all want that say, hey, we're successful, right? And it feeds our self-esteem to say, oh, I live here or oh, look at the car I drive. Right? And what happens is we feel this pressure to keep up with the Joneses, to keep up with other people out there. And the biggest challenge is that it's always gonna cost you raising your game, raising your expenses. And when you live that lifestyle, I'm telling you, there's no money to do anything else with. So I told you at the beginning of this video that I would give you a mindset shift that can shift it all for you. And that's this. You wanna start shifting the mindset of, I can afford that, to I want to invest in that. And so what do I mean by that? You might think, you see someone with a brand new car, for example, you had, they would get this Maserati, and you're like, oh, I can afford that, it's only two grand a month, I can afford that, that's great. But how can I invest that two grand a month? That's a different story, right? There's so many different ways that you can invest, but when you get in that mindset, Yes, there's delayed gratification. Yes, you won't be keeping up with the Joneses. In fact, I was watching this awesome Instagram story the other day and it was about these, these people, the guys and girls were talking and they were saying how most successful people, they wear the same shirt every day. They don't look fancy, they don't look wealthy. They're the most dangerous person because they know who they are, they know what they got, they don't need to flaunt it. They can go and have these certain experiences but they're not out there saying, hey, look at me. Now, look, there's one thing, and this is something that I always had to, I was battling with, because I watch these people, like Grant Cardone, right? And he's a master marketer and sales guy. But like most people say, oh, he's just big, he just flaunts his wealth. And I can see that side of how people can say that. But the other thing is, the way I like to look at it, and I'm not justifying it, but the way I like to look at it is you're actually birthing a dream into someone else when you show them what's possible. Now you gotta look at where's your heart in this, all this. Is it, hey, look at me? Or is it, hey, how can I inspire you to do something greater? Or hey, is it for me, it's actually, you know, how can I bring God all the honor and glory in this, right? Like everything my wife and I have achieved, we give all the honor and glory to God for, right? Like in his word, it says, you know, for he gives you the power to get wealth. Whether you believe that or not, that's fine that's up to you. I pray that you you actually understand that and you, you, you move forward on that. And if you're interested, reach out and we'll talk more. I'd love to talk with, you know, biblical stuff. However, you want to make sure that it's not about you and it's about others. When you can shift from that, that makes the game change, right? Because when you can fall in love with giving and helping others, you have to, you know, marketing is influencing other people. And sometimes in this generation, we have to influence them in certain experiences or certain ways of living. Living. Now, I'm not saying you got to go flaunt your wealth and what you have achieved, but what I am saying is flaunt the dream. Show people what's possible, that you, what they can do because you've done it in a healthy way. And you don't do that by trying to keep up with the Joneses because I know a lot of people, they have the nice car, they live in the nice community, they got the big house, they're living paycheck to paycheck, right? They're keeping up with the Joneses and they're not on the path to financial freedom. The point of this video is to point out the most common mistake that most people make and it happens in their early 20s, but as time gets, uh, as time goes on and you start getting up in your late 20s, early 30s and people are buying houses and, and homes and they're investing in property and you're not and you're just like, I just gotta get the big house. What happens is 
you're running out of time to actually go out there and invest. Now, can you make things up? Yes. You know, you can always put the work in and leverage and speed things up. But you want to make sure that you're not falling victim to this most common mistake. All right, so let me know. Did you make this mistake yourself? Have you made it before? If you have, if you're someone like me, just comment below and say, yes, I've made this mistake. What did you do also to get on the right path? What shift did you make? What I find is at first it's a mindset, a psychology shift here before you see anything out here shift, right? If you're looking for financial freedom, you wanna make sure that your expenses, right, are low and your passive income passes your expenses. You do that, you're financially free. You don't need to be a millionaire. But the way to stop that is make this most common mistake in keeping up with the Joneses, raising your expenses so that your financial freedom number rises. We don't want that. We want you to be able to get free, get that time back, and then go put it towards something that's impacting the community, impacting the marketplace, so that you can create more wealth and do good with your wealth, right? That makes sense to me. For so many years it didn't, now it does. And so I wanna help other people do that. So anyway, with that, look, if you found value, give it a thumbs up, make sure you comment below, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you know when a new video comes out because you don't wanna miss this. I have a lot of great people that I'm gonna be uh, interviewing here shortly on how they've created financial freedom, the lifestyle, the numbers, and I don't show that stuff to flaunt you, but to, sh to flaunt that for the for them and this channel, what I do it is to birth the dream that it's possible for you. And when you get that in your spirit, in your heart, in your mind that you can do it, then you start to walk the path towards financial freedom. And like I always say, financial freedom is not the end destination, it's actually the starting point. So with that, my name is Joe Mobler with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.